Yo, 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 what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the State Nation with your boy Stay for another Apex Legends video. Now, today I've come to you with something, you know, a little more interesting than normal. I'm going to be giving you guys something as specific as my top five favorite legends who I think play exceptionally well aggressively. Now, everyone plays different, you know, some people like to play defensively, others like to play passively, but me personally, I like to play extremely aggressive. I love running across the map as fast as I can, getting to that next squad just so I can start squad wiping again. So once again, we're going to get into this top five list, but I want to start things off by, you know, mentioning first, so you guys have a bit of a background on how I made my decisions today is what makes up a true uh you know a, a powerful aggressive legend what why are they good specifically at pushing enemies offensively well i think there's three things that make up a powerful legend who can push first up they need to be able to push smartly their abilities hence the abilities that all legends have need to benefit them in a in a manner that allows them to get into a position that other legends wouldn't be able to get themselves into when approaching a gunfight, so approaching smartly. Secondly, I think they need to be able to get out of a gunfight just as effectively as they can get in, because in a battle royale, you never know what's gonna happen. Sometimes you get into sticky situations, and once again, you need to get out just as fast. And then the third thing I think that plays a factor in aggressive legend is their speed and how fast they can get across the map because a lot of, you know, your gameplay is just running across the map. You're not always in gunfights unless, you know, you drop hot zone, you get lucky and everyone's there. So you need to be able to get across the map quickly so you can engage in that next gunfight. Now we're going to start off this top five list guys and uh, once again this is going to be in my order i'm not going to give it a worst to best but it's going to be in uh, my least favorite to my favorite type scale so my least favorite but still an amazing an amazing aggressive play style type of legend is going to be lifeline now lifeline looking at her three abilities she has her healing drone she has her supply bin and then for her passive she has 25 percent faster heals now you're probably like as a support character how is this a good aggressive legend well her supply bin is great because it's gonna allow you to bait people to you you never thought of that right instead of constantly having to run to other enemies this way that supply bin will act as an indicator for where you are and you'll have other enemies push in on top of that her healing drone allows you to engage into gunfights and be able to heal on the go you know you don't always have time to you know, sit there and heal on the spot without moving or engaging still so at least while you're popping a healing drone you can still engage and be healing at the same time and then lastly her passive ability with a 25 percent i think it's 25 percent faster heals that is why i value her so much the fact that you can get off heels extremely fast mid gunfight puts her in another realm because you can constantly be in a good position while in the middle of a gunfight you know i, I can't count the amount of times i've died because i i needed like an extra second to pop off a heel when you probably would have got that off long ago if you were using lifeline so that's lifeline at my number five spot but now we're gonna move it on to number four and in the number four spot we have bloodhound okay Bloodhound, uh, I never really used him much, but when I did start using him, he grew on me so fast because I was like, wow, this man is an or man or woman. I'm not sure what gender Bloodhound is, but Bloodhound is an amazing pusher. A lot of people say you can't push hard with Bloodhound, but I think you can, all right? His uh, tactical ability, it allows you to approach gunfights exceptionally smart. You know their positions, you know who's down, you know uh, you know their general location, then you can choose to take high ground or whatever you need to do to get into that gunfight. On top of that, his ultimate ability is essentially being octaned out for a solid 30 seconds. I, I, I can't value his ultimate enough, I think it's seriously one of the best in the game, but sadly, ultimates aren't a deciding factor for me just because of how um rarely in a game you get to use them you don't always have an ultimate ready but i do think his ultimate is very very good and you should use it for big gunfights if you're going to use bloodhound and then lastly his passive ability man like his passive is i'm still got a little a lot of learning to do with it but i know people who use bloodhound religiously and the way they're able to track enemies and know where they're coming from and get to that next gunfight is you know um really really valuable even though bloodhound may not be fast when not using his ultimate the ability to know where enemies are can get you there just as quick as if you were faster so that's going to do it for my number four list guys i'm now going to move it on to spot number three and you know spot number three i, I think it's fair I, I do think it's fair where i place octane 
because I think Octane is honestly a better aggressor and a better pusher than Bloodhound. But now why you may ask. I've had a lot of experience with Octane and I can honestly say that in gunfights, I like in the midst of shooting someone, I don't think there's a better legend out there. His stim ability to, you know, go faster is unmatched by any other legend in this game other than Bloodhound's ultimate. But Octane's tactical ability can be popped at any moment. Every single two seconds, you can be stimming yourself up. And yes, you do lose a bit of health, but when you use his movements right, you can dodge anything. You can be untouched by enemy bullets as long as you're not being crossfired. Now on top of that, you can also approach and get out of gunfights just as effectively with his ultimate jump pad, which doesn't take that long to recharge. You can get the high ground when, you know, seeing a gunfight, if that's what you need to do. And I do think it's a great way to get out of some situations, but be careful how you use it because if it's flat planes and it's a lot of open space, you going up in the air can just make you an easy target to get shot at. So once again, be careful how you use Octane's ultimate ability. And then his ultimate, uh, not ultimate, sorry, his passive ability with the passive heals. I think that's fantastic. I mean, as an aggressor, being able to heal up at all times as long as you're not being shot at is uh, pretty valuable and it's, you know, essential to his stim ability. But that's going to do it for the number three spot, guys, for top five legends who I think are great aggressors. And now we're dwindling down, man. We're, we're in the final two spots. You guys are probably, you might have an idea of who it could be, but... These next two spots might shock you and where I placed them. Number two, I think Wraith is the second best aggressor in all of Apex Legends. Okay, Wraith is a fantastic legend. Uh, I mained her for a long time, but just recently I've started maining someone else. And, you know, I'm not trying to give away number one spot here, but Wraith has a lot of valuable abilities that just aren't matched by anybody else in this game. Her tactical ability to pop that portal is, well, not the portal, but her tactical ability into the void is insane like the amount of sticky situations you can get out of by popping that ability whether it's running through um you know buildings in skull town and people are trying to beam you down the hallway you go invisible you are prone to all damage incoming so you keep yourself really really safe and then on top of that her portals it can block off doorways it can allow people to you know stay away from you it can allow you to get your whole squad and push a team together instead of having to do it by yourself so this is why I think Wraith is a fantastic legend. If you guys didn't already know it, man, I'm sure most of you do. Wraith is just a really strong legend overall in this game. But that's going to do it for number two, guys. I'm now going to take you on to the number one spot. Who is the number one aggressor of a legend in all of Apex Legends? And I have to give this spot, drumroll please, to Pathfinder. Pathfinder is by far my favorite legend in this game right now. He is like, yes, Wraith has abilities that are unmatched by any other legend, but Pathfinder can do things that no other legend can come even close to doing, okay? I'm gonna break down his abilities now, starting off with his tactical ability. His grapple recharges so fast and it allows you to scale the map super, super quickly if you guys know how to use his grapple properly you can gain so much ground traveling the map with his grapple and then on top of that it's fantastic for getting high ground in all situations it you don't even need a zip line to get up to the highest of places if you use his grapple properly you can get on top of literally anything literally anything you want to get on top of but now his zip line is great for carrying the squad to high ground and uh you know good position positions in all gunfights so he's really almost a carry type legend he, he can do it all and the last thing i gotta say about him is that you, you may not like this but his hitbox is a little bit broken right now so yes he is the best positioning type legend and on top of that, he's going to be able to avoid almost anything you throw at him just because of how broken his hitbox right now is. Like, you, if you shoot him, half your bullets are going to go through it, okay? Half your bullets are going to go through his arms, and he's already a dainty legend in itself. But that right there, guys, like, I feel like I've covered everything. I've went pretty in-depth with all five of these legends. Obviously, once again, Pathfinder is my favorite, but try them out for yourselves because 
all of these legends might play differently with you. You might not excel with one, but excel with someone like Lifeline, who's at my number five spot. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to drop a like down below. Join the State Nation if you guys enjoyed the video, man. We also live stream every single night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Have a great day. Peace.